Well, ladies and gentlemen, Dumbledore ain't opening no doors anymore. Uh, it seems like it's a massive bomb. Pretty huge bomb, to be honest. Uh, Dumbledore, the secrets of Dumbledore has drawn uh, a lot of female moviegoers. But it's basically opening to about 40 to $44 million opening. That is a huge bomb financially uh, domestic. Like that's, that's not good at all. Now this is kind of early indicators, but this is set to lose astronomical money for, uh, was this Warner Brothers, I think, if I remember rightly. It's a lot of money. Yeah, down, down the drain for Warner Brothers. Not good. Uh, and Discovery will be looking at this going, uh, yeah, let's, let's rethink this. So again, this is kind of early predictions, but they're, they're pretty bang on. There's, there's, they're not that far off, but let's take a look, right? Huge bomb, bombing out the wazoo. So over what is typically a lucrative Easter box office weekend, there's unfortunately no great rush stateside for Warner Brothers' Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, which is heading towards an estimated 445 million dollar opening Warners is seeing at least 40 million dollars with the potential for upside I mean that's not good on the high side that's 27% off the I mean what uh, on the <laughs> I like the way they're framing this on the high side that's 27% off 62.1 million dollars opening of the 2018 second movie I mean bruh we are four years on from that and you're 27% off that's not good. Why would you think that that's good? That's not good. That's not good at all. That's not... That's nothing to... You're like, oh, on the high side? No, that's real bad. Now, that already had an opening that was 17% off. So, basically, they're just constantly on the decline. Which indicates people are sick of it. Or... They're just not interested. There's the, the conversations around Johnny Depp being, you know... Uh, unceremoniously fired there's so much stuff uh which can lead to this being you know such a bomb as it is but the fact that 27 percent off god that's not good anyway yes deadline says three qualitis as expected is set in yeah or they're just not interested in it but know that this harry potter spin-off franchise has always light in the canon basically uh well was it was always light in the canon sorry fantastic beasts was never tied to a long series of J.K. Rowling books, which had a ferocious following. Yeah, but it's got Harry Potter name in it. You'd think that that, that should be able to convince people to go and watch it, right? It really should. Um, but the reviews aren't very good. Uh, people are actually slamming the fact that Depp isn't in it. Uh, and that you can really feel his sort of, you know, his, the lack of his presence. You know, in some, it's no surprise to see this type of opening. No, it is. It is a surprise. Harry Potter as a franchise is astronomically popular. There is no reason to say that there's no surprise to see this kind of opening. This absolutely is a surprise. The Harry Potter franchise name should be able to carry uh, a set of three movies with massive names in it. You know, they're not... Oh, I guess they're still considered A-listers, but you know what I mean? Like, to say, like, oh, it's no surprise. No, it absolutely is a surprise. Not to mention the threequel was conceived during pre-pandemic times. What's that got to do in it? What's that got to do with it? Oh, we thought about this. All movies playing at the moment were conceived pre-pandemic. Anyway, the great play for the movies abroad and its global take is expected to reach 175 million tomorrow. 175 million plus 44 million. Not good. That's that's not good. That's a that's you're running out a, a huge loss. Massive loss. Astronomical loss. That's set to be real bad. That's a bomb. That is a big old bomb. Anyway, Deadline starts doing massive cope, as always. As we come out of the pandemic and masks come off, there's an eagerness to re-commune with those around us on a spring weekend. If any studio... But you've literally just said it's normally lucrative. It's got nothing to do with the pandemic. Pandemic's been over for ages in most people's eyes. It's only mainstream media and a few idiots. I know, I'll cap some flack for saying that, I don't care. Anyway, if any studio is going to put... Again, let, let's just clarify this. How much money did Spider-Man No Way Home make? It's got nothing to do with the pandemic, alright? That, that, that is my evidence for my statement. So if you're going to cry, 
cry to someone else. I'm not interested. And if any studio is going to put a movie on the marquee, it uh, has to be something that we haven't seen before. I mean, we saw Spider-Man before, didn't we? <laughs> the cope from Deadline is just outrageous. Anyway, that's truly worth leaving home for. And the 11th Wizarding World movie in 21 years feels like old hat top to bottom. Nah. All of this, despite having Dumbledore in the title. Fuck. <laughs> Which connects the series and the marketing materials distinctly to Harry Potter. Cinema score is B+. Plus. Um, uh, 81% positive, 63%. Basically, it, it had its fans. They went out and watched it and that was it. Because this is the same thing with Morbius. People were like, oh, but people really like Morbius. Yeah, but no one's watched it. So the people that liked it were the only ones that wanted to watch it. And there wasn't that many of them. And if consumers know they can sit on HBO Max in a month and a half, well, then that's a legit excuse to wait around for the movie in home. Again, wrong. Because, wrong, because the Batman has crossed over $700 million worldwide, and now it's going to be on HBO Max. Everyone knew that was going to be on HBO Max. The cope from Deadline here. What is wrong with you? It's like you've had a brain aneurysm between articles. Anyway, yeah, 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 there was the whole rowling controversy over transgender views. Uh, and the Johnny Depp firing, but typically the gravitas of tabloids doesn't factor into Joe Moviegoer's movie ticket buying decisions. Uh, I mean, I don't think anyone really cares. It's a very fringe minority that cares about J.K. Rowling, uh, you know, wanting uh, only women in women's spaces, which, yeah, I, I, massively controversial view, I guess, but, you know, whatever. Um, and loads of people did care about Johnny Depp, actually. Uh, he has a massive fan base. Anyway, social analytics firm relish mixed with disagree, seeing that the Pix fans on social media are missing Depp. Exactly. The actor replaced by Mads Mikkelsen. I told you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, relish mixed said that pre-weekend buzz on Dumbledore ran intense and mixed, with, with loving enthusiasm for the franchise, to questions about the chemistry of the cast. There were also countless references from fans and superfans of Johnny Depp and his cancellation and how he's irreplaceable. Yeah, exactly. Uh, with the film open in the UK, Europe and China, spoiler alert warnings are abound. With a range of responses to relationship deep dives into the wizarding world and debates over the debt trial. Again, they, they really screwed the pooch on the release date because they released it pretty much across the same time that Johnny Depp was basically um, being seen to be completely telling the truth in the trial. Literally, day two, day one. Yeah, no, everyone's like, uh, yeah, Johnny Depp's really nice. W what are you doing? Yeah, uh, clinical psychologist reveals Amber Heard actually hit Johnny Depp first. I mean, come on. Pretty bad, bad release timing. But yeah, it's a huge bomb, ladies and gents. Massive, massive bomb, in fact. Uh, so they say, how to revive Harry Potter franchise? Rowling should write more books and bring it back into the Potter characters as we know. Nah. Uh, Rowling's got enough money. I mean, she just writes for fun, I'm sure, nowadays, as like she did before. But there you have it, ladies and gents. Uh, we won't get into the rest of this. We'll, we'll do that in separate videos about, you know, Sonic 2 absolutely being a killer again uh, and everything else. But yeah, Dumbledore is a huge bomb. What do you think? Let me know down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Follow my second channel. It's linked in the description box. You might like it. Uh, and if you want to support, we've got memberships, Patreon and Teespring underneath the video. Cheers. Take care.